oh my goodness, is my hair okay? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, sorry, guys, I am a child. Y'all know that. But uh, in today, <laughs> today's episode, oh my goodness, see if I could just get over to it. Let's take a little look, see here, huh? Oh, yeah, oh my goodness, let's just, boop. Isn't that nicer? You don't have to look at my ugly mug too long. Isn't that much nicer? Okay. Let me turn this piano music down just a little bit. There we go. So, uh, I know you've probably already seen a video or two uh, about this, but, uh, you know, from content creators such as uh, some of my favorites, Bungle and uh, Dog for Life, they put out excellent videos. If I remember, <laughs> I'll link down in the description to those two gentlemen. But uh, I just want to give you my own take on this, because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm just the big blue idiot, right guys? <laughs> Sorry, I do really have fun with this, I do. So, <clears throat> this is the first time I'm reading it. Uh, as y'all know, I do have a... Uh, <laughs> like a lot of y'all, I have a job, right? I do work for a living, so uh, I didn't even know that... Uh, this little event was going on until uh, I saw Bungle's video on it. And now i got to do my own. <laughs> it's called Battle Summer. Um, that's an interesting name. Battle Summer. <laughs> I don't mean any disrespect, but I think that's something else that probably sounds better in Russian, right? <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. You know you know, I just say it how, I, how it is. <laughs> Let's read through it, though, huh? So we got our Russians, a little... Ooh! Ooh, that might be the new uh, submachine gun. I, I heard about this. Or rather, uh, yep, let's just continue. Uh, prepare for a massive operation and enlisted. Ooh, cool. So this is an event, I imagine, like... Uh, a lot of you have probably who are who play enlisted have probably played War Thunder, right? I have. I used to play War Thunder. Used to. Used to. <laughs> uh, but this this uh, sounds a little similar. Let's continue. Taking place from July 9th. Oh my goodness, that's. Oh, uh, here, can I point to it? Oh no, it's over that way. Yeah, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Today's the 8th. Holy crap. <laughs> Talk about cutting her close, huh, boys? And girls, hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, until the 19th. So basically, we have 10 days, right? 10 days is a nice little. a nice little week and a half. Uh, if they do the events, anything. And again, this is my my uh, first perception, right? I'm just the new guy checking it out the page. And we're going to go over the information that's on the page here. So we're going to get unique weapons. Thank you. <laughs> Squads and vehicles. Uh, PPK-42. Now, my goodness, PPK-42. That is, uh, I assume, yeah, that is this cute little number. Isn't that... That's kind of sexy, isn't it? The wooden furniture, everything looks smart and clean. And oh yeah, I want this. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be unlocking this, y'all. Trust me. My goodness, PPK 42. Yep. You don't need that drum mag. Trust me. When you have something that looks this, this smexy. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> okay, so the PPK 42. Awesome. Uh, that's going to be fun. I imagine probably an insanely fast fire rate. Oh, right. Uh, there's a video upcoming with Paratree, Paratree Trooper. I'll have to link that too if I remember. <laughs> Continuing on. <laughs> but also, uh, aside from the PPK-42, uh, the light tank, uh, the M5A1 Stuart. As you all know, the Stuart is that wonderful little machine that we go, Wow, this sucks. And then once you unlock the jumbo and become a true uh, Chad allied player, you invariably go back to the Stuart, right? <laughs> so personally, I'm excited uh, for this ri the Rhino, right? Um, I'm not. I haven't scrolled down the picture yet, uh, but from from what I don't remember if it's a real thing or not. But it makes me think of uh, potentially. I knew that they used to attach like plows and stuff like that to m4s and you know other tanks just so they could push through those head road the head rows or head rows i don't know if i'm saying that right sue me <laughs> in france right 
So that's interesting. We'll we'll scroll down and take a look at that, but let's continue on. I don't want to get too damn distracted. And this this right here is what I'm most excited about is the Focke Wolf uh, 189. This I am gonna scroll down for. Oh, there's the rhino. Yep, see a plow. Who do you call but Mr. Plow? I don't know how the song goes. You guys remember that Simpsons reference, right, Mr. Plow? <gasps> I need to get one of those jackets. Okay, yep, we're going to make a video on that. <laughs> oh my god, we're going to make a Mr. Plow video. <laughs> That's going to be so funny. <laughs> oh, what is that music, right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting this. We'll go back to it. No, I, I lied to you. I lied to you. We'll get back to it. We have a lot to cover here. Yeah, this is all exciting to me, obviously. <laughs> and again, uh, from tomorrow, uh, I'm in Pac uh, Pacific Standard Time. I'm, I'm not narrowing it down too much, guys. Trust me, I ain't telling you where I live. <laughs> Pacific Northwest, roughly, obviously. Uh, but GMT, it doesn't matter, but around uh, 1300, 1 p.m., to anybody who doesn't understand military time until obviously 1 p.m. 10 days later so 10 days exactly perfect that's nice and round I love it I'll just have to do the conversion later I don't want to do that right now it's been a long day at work <laughs> so yes this is apparently task right task let me scroll down just so I can inform myself real quick yes task see so the order on this could probably you know for people who are just reading it might be I don't know. We'll talk about it. So this is the reward for eight tasks. Okay, and we'll go over the task when we get to the task, but there's that beautiful PPK-42. Look at the... They even, they know how, how beautiful this weapon is because they have a nice, high-resolution uh, screenshot of it. No, they know. They know what they get. <laughs> they know what they sell in here. Absolutely. We're going to want this 100%. Oh yeah, here, see, we have a short description, short and sweet, love it. <laughs> you got the wrong guy reading you this information, trust me. Uh, PPK-42, a lightweight, compact, and easy-to-handle submachine gun with a 25-round magazine. That's more than enough. Yeah, that 25-round magazine, you can... Boop, boop. You just boop, boop, real quick. Oh, they reload fast, isn't that weird? And the ability to switch to semi-automatic. Oh, who's going to do that with a PPK? <laughs> Trust me, the semi-auto is probably going to be... The semi-auto on this is probably going to be a god-tier meme-worthy just horseplay. Like, when you just want to chat it up... Uh, I, I'm assuming, obviously, I haven't played with these weapons yet, but when I do take them out, uh, because I will take the time to unlock this somehow or another... <laughs> I'll find the time, uh, aside from my obviously busy work schedule. Uh, but yeah, I will be getting this. Oh my goodness, single... F oh yeah. <clears throat> Moving on for seven tasks. Seven, huh? Interesting. <laughs> this is... Uh, yeah, very excited about this little plow right here, that Mr. Plow we talked about. Oh, the camouflage on it. Still got that 37, but... Uh, yeah, it has, yes, improved ammunition, right? Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's like a, t like a tungsten hardening or, or whatever. We'll read on. So this modification of the American uh, Stewart <laughs> not only looks deadly, it looks kind of cute, actually. <laughs> yeah, sure, it's, it's got kind of like this uh, Mad Max sort of mystique to it. Like, you could see somebody... Uh, fighting for uh, barrels of gasoline or <laughs> water in this thing. <laughs> uh, uh, developers, if any of you ever watch this at any point, this is, yes, yeah, sir. This is going to be good content. This silly little plow with that cute little pop gun and them fitties. The the 50 calibers is where the secret sauce is on this machine. Trust me. This this little guy here and this little guy is that a 50? That sure looks that looks like a 50, don't it? You got 50 and a 50. <laughs> Trust me. Just play with the 50s. You know, you get in your commander uh, and you pop your head up out of that little hatch and just grab a hold of that big old caliber 50. You pull that handle back and trust me when you mix that with your coaxial. 
you know, you get your uh, hole pointed in the right direction. You have your, you kick your, your, uh, your bow gunner in his shoulder and you go, all right, bud, let's go. And you climb up there and get on your 50 and he's down there and it's just, bah, 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 bah. trust me, it's a good time. Especially if you have someone else in the tank with you, like a squad mate. Yes, you can do that. They can have some of their guys get out and you can get in and drive for them or be their commander or whatever. Wink, wink. Try it out. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, let's actually read the damn words, though. So the, the steward <laughs> not only looks deadly... Hmm, or cute, but also carries improved armor-piercing shells. Interesting, yeah. Uh, we'll have to see what those are about hopefully later on in this. Dreadful tusks. They use tusks. That's an interesting word. I would describe them as tusks, except there's four of them. <laughs> I like them. I think they're for clearing out hedgerows, all right? We don't know. Installed for easier fence destruction. Yeah, that'll go through a fence pretty good. And deal additional damage to enemy infantry. We have our first ramming vehicle. We have our first melee vehicle. Only, only Chads are going to drive this. I'm sorry, but uh, if you can't look past the 37 millimeter little pop gun on it, this is just this is just there just so you <laughs> you know just in case you could use it. Right? It's them fitties and this little plow and the mobility of this thing and its troll armor. That is going to make this thing just a monster. I can't wait to unlock this. Seven tasks. Really, seven. Oh, it's even close to my heart. Isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it just close to my heart? <laughs> okay. Yep. I have to unlock that tank. Absolutely. Must. That is right up my alley. Small gun. <laughs> Big melee damage. And uh, so many pew pews. That you just can't deal with it, right? 250 cals, two machine guns. Pop, 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 pop. Perfect. I'm going to have fun with my friends in that thing. Absolutely. Moving on. <laughs> swords. Ooh. Oh, swords. Oh, I forgot about the swords. We have a Russian, American, and German. I may be mistaken, but it sure looks that way, don't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. More melee weapons. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the axe. Uh, I, I think I heard that there were twitch drop weapons, but I don't, I don't really have time for twitch, so that doesn't really happen in my life. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me. That's why some of us prefer the YouTube content, right? But anyway, uh, so we're looking at a 1927 saber. Oh yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice looking weapon too. I want, I like how it doesn't have a handguard, right? So I recognize that one, right? That's the, yeah. I'm assuming that's the German officer sword. And then that would be the uh, military saber for the U.S., right? Beautiful. So more melee weapons? Awesome. Um, I kind of would like to see melee weapons just be purchasable. Like for a, a gold amount. like Or... Uh, I mean, you can unlock them right in the bronze orders, like we have that. But I mean, if we're spitballing ideas about, you know, monetization, because I want this game to succeed, everybody needs to be paid, right? <laughs> Little swords like this, like you could sell these pretty cheap. You know, they're just pixels. <laughs> you could probably make a decent amount of money on those. Oh, right, uh, we do have something like that. Yeah, you can buy the uh previous battle pass weapons for gold in logistics just so y'all know in case you didn't uh, they i feel like they're maybe a little bit pricey and so i probably won't buy them but maybe if they lower that price in the future because again they're just pixels right and they're not overpowered guns by any means the ones that are last generation yeah <laughs> they're mostly just for fun <laughs> So it doesn't really harm anybody, just letting people have them, right? Okay, but the swords, really, there's not a lot to say about the swords until, uh, I did hear about this, the, yeah, we're going to talk about this. There's a melee challenge, right? There's a melee challenge in this event, which I'm excited about. 
I would like to see more melee combat in this game, and I think more people would do it if they if there were more melee weapons that didn't just maybe maybe drop. If maybe if you're super lucky, like melee weapons aside from just the standard knife, uh, should be a thing. I think maybe affect your weight, how fast you run, you know, stuff like that. You know, whatever. If you have a big big freaking sword rattling around, you're carrying a light machine gun, you move slow, right? <laughs> I don't know. Just just ideas. Oh, excuse me. My goodness, that diet, that diet Pepsi. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that diet Pepsi it really gets me. <laughs> but what I'm most excited about, and I'm surprised is so low on the task list. I would think that this would be like nine tasks or something, but four tasks. <laughs> In case y'all didn't. Know. Oh yeah, I have a little picture. Uh, this is what the cockpit and War Thunder of the uh, Focke Wolf. 1889 looks like. See how open that is? Kind of. Any of you who have flown the JU-188, that uh, nightmare in Normandy, <laughs> for the people who are, you know, on the ground, obviously, it's a nightmare. It is. But uh, the nice thing about flying it is like that big open cockpit, right? It's a recon aircraft. This one is not the. <laughs> not the other. I mean, you could use it for that, but obviously this this canopy this nice wide look at all this stuff you can see ground strafing will be more effective in this uh, because you see how uh, this pilot is positioned you can see so much more and approach from less of an angle because you have more information down here you'll be able to strafe in this thing and if it's modeled hopefully modeled like it is in war thunder it will be highly maneuverable like obviously not the the biplane's probably still going to <laughs> outturn you i hope probably i don't remember i don't think i own one of these in war thunder unfortunately i missed the event because like a lot of people i quit playing for a, a, a year here and there and i just missed out on cool vehicles like this not gonna miss out on this one though yeah oh yeah i can yeah that's why people are gonna be unhappy with the payload on this thing yeah the focke wolf 189 is a light recon aircraft uh-huh <laughs> equipped with two 7.92 millimeter machine guns and four 50 kilogram bombs yeah let's just highlight that right there so i can already hear it uh the stuka in moscow uh for some reason uh, still has a 250 kilogram bomb guys uh, we we kind of need to we kind of need to change that. Uh, if you want to take it out of Berlin and justify that somehow at the level that you took it out at, uh, maybe the tanks that have uh, less armor than a T3485 uh, shouldn't be subjected to the 250 kilogram bomb. <laughs> just a thought. J just just a thought. Just a thought. But you know we're not we're just gonna leave that where it, where it is. Four 50 kilogram bombs, and trust me, I love ground pounding. I love ground attack. I love it. 50 kilogram bombs, especially in Moscow, are more than enough for Moscow. The the tank armor is too thin. 100 kilos, like on the Isle 2, still pretty cool. If they're not like world sh world ending you know, blockbusters, they're just a little more powerful, and Nile 2 is a more, I think, more difficult weapons delivery system for bombs. You can disagree with me on that, and you can prove me wrong. I'd love to see that video. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, make that video. It'd be hilarious. Uh, the drop in pairs, good. So you have two bomb drops of 50 kilos, and the 50s, trust me, they can do some work. Once I have this plane unlocked, I'm going to dedicate it with all all these vehicles like the, the swords, all the sh all the stuff, this Rhino. As soon as I unlock these things, as soon as I do, I'm going to put out a video on them. But the first video, evidently, will be uh, the the 189 as a recon aircraft that has two bomb drops of 50 kilograms, and I'm going to demonstrate why you don't need the 250. I'm going to kill a bunch of T28s. What are the big ones? I don't know. T-35? I don't know. You know my memory sucks. But I'm going to pop tanks with them. 
And this aircraft, I about guarantee you, will probably be a little more effective at precision targeting than the, the Stuka, just because of this massive, it, I mean, it's just like basically a, a massive wing, right? It's hard to explain, again, because I don't own it in War Thunder, unfortunately. Ooh. <laughs> but, you know, we'll get to experience it together in this game. And I highly recommend, like, the videos that I watched in Envy of other people who own this thing. <laughs> like, this is my kind of aircraft. A little slow, sure, but tight turning. Stealthy, probably. I think this thing's quiet, right? It's supposed to be quiet. All that view that you have. Two little bomb drops that you don't need those two, you don't need that 250, you don't need those freaking sirens either. They know you're coming, trust me. They just they get out of the way most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, and the aircraft offers great agility, like we we're talking about. It's almost like they're reiterating what I'm saying. And wide viewing angles for the pilot. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna be fun to fly. Right? It may not have the, the big payload like the Stuka, but this is going to be fun to fly. I guarantee you, you're going to have some wicked dogfights with this thing. Hopefully, uh, a dark flow again if you're watching, the, the, the plane damage models. Like, mm, 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 mm. I know you're working on it. I know you are. I know you are, but hopefully these two, uh, I won't have to get video of me putting literally hundreds of 762 into engines and all that other stuff and not getting a damn thing over and over. I really hope that's not the case by the time this event comes out. But we'll see. The, con the content will be what the content is. As always, one take, baby. You will also get silver orders for troops and weapons after completing the first food first two tasks. Ugh, just spit it out. My goodness. <laughs> okay. I like it, though. I like it so far. Participation. On July 9th at 1300 GMT, a new event window will appear in the lobby. Ooh! Oh, so it's just going to pop in game. We don't have to download anything? Oh, that's cool. Oh, thank goodness. All rewards are unlocked for completing the required number of tasks. Okay. Beautiful. Moving on. We're just going to keep this part going because the content was what I was excited about, right? I could just get through this. Tasks. All tasks are completed one by one and are available for two days before they change. So 48 hours. I'm going to take that literally. Yeah, you can see it right here. 9th through the 11th. That is 48 hours because the next one starts on the 11th. So, you know, I know super, super big maths there. <laughs> but the first 48 hours, we'll, we'll just say 48 hours. It sounds better in two days because that's a lot of time. And they don't, they don't list the amount, but when they say rifle kills, any of y'all have done the battle pass, rifle kills means bolt action kills. It doesn't mean semi-autos. It doesn't mean semi-auto at all. Don't, don't go out there uh, shooting a semi-automatic rifle thinking that you're going to complete. Like, they really need to change this to bolt action or something other than just rifle, because that's got to confuse people. But I'm going to let you know right now, this means bolt actions, Okay. Don't let it confuse you. Please, please, please. If you're new to the game, I hope you've made it this far in the video. Bolt action rifle is going to be the first one. <laughs> so, and, you know, whatever one you're comfortable with, too, right? Like, I prefer the Moscow campaign uh, when I'm trying to relax because it's just a little more chill out there. And it's mostly bolt actions. There's some submachine guns, but there isn't, like, the semi-auto spam and, uh, you know, just constant... Uh, you know, the planes are a little more tame. It's just, it's more, it's, it's a little more relaxing, right? Some bolt, bolt action rifles, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good start. That'll kind of, I think, get the community in the right mindset without having something ridiculous, like a, like the flamethrower kills. Oh, Normandy. Oh my goodness, that almost single-handedly destroyed the game for a fucking, like, two days or whatever it was. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we don't need to dwell on that. <laughs> but victories in the Battle of Berlin campaign, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you're you're going to hear people say, you know, play for Russia or whatever. Uh, but honestly, if you have 48 hours, if you enjoy playing for Germany, play for Germany. Like, you're going to get those wins. Like, just enjoy 
fighting for Germany. Like and right, I I play for both factions, right? Everybody knows that I play all factions, but just saying, during this event, don't get it down or don't let it get you down that everybody's gonna be trying to play Russia because you will have more fun when you win against those teams that are just trying to they're just trying to get their task, right? You'll probably have more fun playing Germany during this. Just saying. Will you get the wins? Probably probably not. You're gonna have to work harder for them, but if you're anything like me and you like a challenge, boy. Probably want to play for Germany. <laughs> the next 48 hours. The second phase. Oh yeah, we're well, getting a little more serious now. Place in the top 50% in battle. Oh, top 50 is pretty... Thinking that would be roughly average, yes. 50% on the list would be median average. So people should be able to get that done. I don't have... A, oh... Oh, good. Speaking of uh, flamethrower tasks. <laughs> oh, uh, this is melee kills. Mm. Making people go for melee kills for content? Mm, that's going to... Mm. So depending on how many... Like if it's a lot, it's going to destroy this event and people are going to quit. And just give up and say, F this. Wouldn't put that on the second phase. Um, mm. If it's few kills, like it's just, oh, get t 10 melee kills. Like you can get it done in a, a game if you're just that guy. <laughs> then maybe it won't be so bad. But if it's like 100 or 60 even, oh. Mm. Like I'll happily do it. I will happily do it. But I can just foresee that a lot of people will take that as work which it will be for some people who don't know how to flank properly which most people don't or how to use headphones to uh, locate echo locate enemy troops and keep cover between you and them until you get within melee range oh i should do a video on that yes i will do a melee only video and we'll kind of go over uh, methodologies in how to approach your enemy by utilizing cover and uh, like sounds of artillery or grenades or gunfire to mask your position so you can get close enough for that melee kill. That'll be actually fun to make. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> let's, let's move on. So third phase, third set of 48 hours. Victor, oh! You should just you should just take this and just do a little bit of this. Dark flow. <laughs> just do a little bit of this. This should have been the second one, but tell I'm telling you. Victories in Battle for Moscow campaign. Yes. Get more people playing freaking Moscow. I just said it in this video. Moscow is a great campaign. It's well balanced. It's slower and you go, Oh, it's slower. Well, if you if that turns you off immediately, Moscow's not for you, but uh, I'm sorry, this game's probably not for you either. <laughs> Unless you just allow yourself to have fun with it. And that's why I like Moscow, right? Because Moscow is just... It's tested. It's its there. And they still have more content that they're adding to it. I remember somewhere I read that uh, they plan on making the campaign levels for all campaigns around 40, right? At some point before they're considering them to be in a state where they really start, you know, whatever. Promoting what, whatever. Whatever. And I mean, we're at what, what, 20, 25 or something? I don't have enlisted open. <laughs> oh, look at me, guys. I'm so prepared. Uh, but I, yeah. Victories in Battle of Moscow. I'm going to be so excited. This is going to be, what What days are those? Oh, that's a Tuesday and a Wednesday. Oh, that sucks. I have to work. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to really sweat. Uh, personally, because again, I work, and as a lot of you do, <laughs> to get the victories in the Battle for Moscow campaign, I'm pro. I'm I will play for Russia in this campaign because they. Uh, I, I, okay, I gotta be careful what I say, but if you look at the statistics, not a lot. It's only like just a little teeny, teeny percentage, but they are technically the Germans do win technically a little more in Moscow. So I would like to see everybody. Who watches my videos maybe maybe you know if you're you've played germany you do you whatever but 
maybe just maybe we uh squad up on the discord and play a little russia yeah for moscow huh sound good i probably only get one or two games in to be honest with you sorry guys but or i might not even be able to who knows i might have to work overtime but that's fine <laughs> Uh, tank destruction. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tank destruction. Yes. Explosive packs. Explosive packs. Explosive packs. You unlock them, like, immediately. Uh, you can buy them for bronze orders. Explosive packs. Learn how to get close to tanks. Learn where the, the weakness is on the armor. Uh, oh, if... <clears throat> I need to make a video on that, too. <laughs> but trust me, the explosive packs are going to be... Unless you're like a, a really good tanker and like you're comfortable and you're like, oh yeah, I got this. You don't need to listen to this part. But I'm telling you, if you're a brand new player, just get a couple explosive packs and get real good. Practice it in the practice range. Go to the practice range and just practice your like your uh, like the angle. Practice your angles. Practice the timing. Practice cooking the grenade so that by the time it leaves your hand and arcs over to the roof armor of that tank ideally you want to strike the roof armor right or i mean if if you're able to get it underneath or some you know if it's close enough the side armor works pretty good but just practice that in practice mode get really good with at hucking those tnt at stationary tanks because i mean let's face it tanks aren't usually moving very much they're almost always stationary unless they're a really good tanker so practicing that in the practice range and then going out and applying that uh, to this event you will succeed a hundred percent you will succeed those tanks aren't very scary especially when you go in with a big old seven sticks of dynamite right oh there's seven of them you never noticed that yeah there's seven sticks of dynamite isn't that weird <laughs> and some auto rifle kills Oof, boy if you are uh yep Yep, if you're uh, late in the Moscow campaign, you'll have some automatic rifles, but, I mean, obviously, once you get your Moscow victories or whatever, once you get your tanks knocked out, well, both great things to do in Moscow. Some auto rifle kills, it's whatever you have them unlocked in, right? If you're a Normandy player, go to Normandy. If you're a Berlin player, as you probably are currently, go to Berlin. Yeah. Do it any way you want to from the looks of it. Yeah, it doesn't say it's restricted, so we're just going to assume that it isn't. So, fourth phase. Fourth set of 48 hours, two days, July 15th through the 17th. Okay. Oh! And it moves on to the next. I like this. Oh, okay. So they start off with the new new. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm not trying to sound too critical, but... Like this should, they should move this here and then that there and then that like at the end is the finale. That would have been melee kills just again. Yeah, that would. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah, it's just my opinion. Okay, victory is enormity. Yes, sir. Tank kills again. Good. This will help the community learn how to kill tanks because they will be forced to to get these damn rewards. And maybe we'll quit seeing people complain about it in Discord and forums. Guys, they're not that hard to kill. Trust me. They're not that hard to kill. I promise the TNT video is coming. I just want to get just the right the right clips, right? Place the top 30% in battle. Now that's going to be more more of a challenge for some people, and I understand that. Uh, not everybody can be. Uh, uh, who am I kidding? I'm not a very good shot. Y'all y'all have seen my videos. I'm not very good. I usually get if I get second or third place, I'm pretty happy, and I, I guess that's still top 30. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you if you play an engineer with the mindset of also helping your team out with kills, I have found that person, and I mean building uh, sandbags on point, building ammunition on point, uh, building your rally points smartly so that people are spawning on them and not uh, you know the other NGs. But don't please don't be that that guy that destroys your teammates freaking rally points and dark flow again if you're watching why the f can my teammates destroy my rally points like get rid of that that needs to f be fixed that is not that should not be intentional in any way shape or form ever that is a bad decision <laughs> okay moving on <laughs> uh, if you build as an engineer and just build not just 
building to build, but think about it. Put the sandbags in good locations to actually cover your team. Put that ammunition in where you would want it if you were fighting there, because you will be. As an engineer, you should always be mindful of what's around you so that when the time comes, you put down your hammer and you just pick up your rifle and you're right there uh, with your brothers and sisters fighting them off, right? That That is what makes a good engineer able to achieve that ranch at the top of the leaderboard. You, you have to do some killing too. And that's okay. At top 30% if you're an engineer and you build those those uh, structures for your team and support them, you will get in top 30%. You get a few kills with that, easy game. Easy, easy, easy game. Grenade kills. Everybody loves throwing grenades. Done. <laughs> and continuing... Uh, to the fifth and final phase, SMG kills. Also, everybody loves submachine guns, don't they? <laughs> PPD go burr. Done. Yes. Earning points as engineer. Oh, oh man. I would have just stuffed this one. Just just take this this little guy and just... You see the... Oh my god, it's almost like it fits. It's like you could have three there. <laughs> three here. And you could just take this... Earning points as engineered. You could just go ahead and put that on July 9th. Like, trust me, Darkflow, you'd be doing yourselves a huge favor. You'd be doing this community a huge favor. You just took this. Can I do this? Oh, look at that. I could do <laughs> I just don't have the damn bullet point, right? <laughs> Sorry. Aircraft kills. Super easy. Go to Normandy. Just cheese it. It's there. Just do it. I'm sorry. I know I don't like doing it either. I don't like bombing people in Normandy. It's not freaking fun. It feels gross. Something needs to happen in Normandy to make the campaign better from... And again, Ground Pounder. I love bombing people. I love... Well, I say, Oh, that's a weird way to say it. You love bombing people? You know what I mean. They're players. They're in tanks, whatever point is uh yeah if it's coming from me that uh, needs to be toned down a little bit uh, uh, or anybody who enjoys aircraft the way that we do probably need reserve aircraft or low low tier anti-air so, something guys something don't lock it behind the engineer too it my goodness that mm. yeah oh yeah finishing first in battle well that's just gonna mm. let's let's count the tasks though well, shit. I'm, I heard on uh, one of the videos, was it Bungle? I think it was Bungle. So each one of these counts, right? And the top prize is eight tasks. You can get two done here, two done here, two, uh, three done here. So you could have set, you can have the run, you can have seven tasks. <laughs> yeah, where do I notice that? Sh <laughs> so you can have the Rhino literally in the first three days, and all you have to do is get. Uh, some some number of bolt action kills, some number of victories in Battle of Berlin. That'll that'll be the most fun trying to figure out which side wants it more. <laughs> Place top 50%, super easy. Melee kills. Yeah, uh, good. We're just gonna have to see how many <laughs> you need to get. Moscow, love it. Tank destruction, love it. Semi, look at uh, yeah. See, look at this. Seven tasks. And you get Mr. Plow. <laughs> that name again is Mr. Plow. Sorry. So yeah, there you go. There's the second to last reward. At least if I'm reading this correctly. Seven tasks, right? Seven bullet points here. And then everything after that, uh, even if you can't get first place, even if you can't, uh, Aaron points as an engineer. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Ow. Yeah, this seems like a pretty, pretty generous event. Now that I've actually taken the time to sit down and actually read through this and really get even my dumb brain uh, to comprehend the information, like this is a great presentation. These screenshots, all this, love it. But how many people sit down and I just record this much of this. I'm a long form guy. Hi. Huh? Wow. Yeah. Oh, one last thing. I do need to wrap this up. Holy. Sh <laughs> the rules. Oh, my goodness. This is probably the most important part, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we talked about 
the the shiny guns and the cool tank and we got big screenshots and then we have text for the task and then yeah down at the bottom hmm boy yeah it's a good thing i'm reading these for you and i remembered to because i almost clicked out of the page i wonder how many people do that <laughs> the rules tasks are renewed every two days yes at 13 gmt yes all un unfinished tasks are deleted at that time so you must do these within these dates understood well communicated perfect the battle in which you uh, complete a task must conclude before the task changing time. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so you just can't go over that. Yeah, you have to finish your task. The battle has to complete. They're just clarifying that so nobody gets irritated saying, you know, it's right here, guys. Yeah, you, the battle in which you must complete it. Yes, before the task changing time. So get them done. <laughs> As soon as you can. I know I don't have a lot of time either. Like I said, I'm gonna be so busy with work. It's gonna be, it's gonna be challenging for me to get eight tasks to get that. I will get it. I will get it, and I will grind it somehow or another. I will get this beautiful gun. But it looks like it'll be pretty easy to do, even with for somebody who doesn't have a lot of time, right? You can complete any task with gold. Yeah, for people who don't have time but have gold to spend, yeah, we we do expect that. <laughs> it helps the game. And the more progress you make towards the task completion, the cheaper it becomes. Yeah, see, yeah, that's a good that's a good idea through and through there. You can complete tasks in any campaign and any multiplayer mode and enlisted unless a specific campaign is stated in the task itself. Yes, so Battle of Berlin. Battle of Moscow, Invasion of Normandy. Hey, it's in the name. Super, super straightforward. Super, super straightforward. You can find detailed task descriptions in the event menu in the game client. Yep. That's going to be cool. So you just pull that little sucker up, get all the information you need right there. That's cool. To earn all of the re event rewards, you only need to complete eight tasks. Yep. Let's count them all out again. We know that's seven, <laughs> oddly enough. Oh, and then we have eight more after that. Wow, it's almost like a logical progression. So that's, uh, what, oh, seven plus eight? Oh, my goodness, that's 15, <laughs> guys. <laughs> so you only have to complete barely uh, a majority. That's barely over 50% of these tasks. When you think about it that way, and you're looking at these bullet points right here, you only have to complete roughly half of these? Even I can do that working, you know, 40 hours a week <laughs> or less. I know somebody who I work with is going to give me shit about that. <laughs> oh, don't you mean 30 hours a week, Joe? <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. We need a little balance in life, don't we? Don't we all? And that's it. Uh, that's the information. And I need to get this damn video out there because it's going to be July 9th. Holy crap. So I'm just going to do it. Uh, I'm rambling. Sorry. Love y'all bunches. <laughs> Seven out. Jeez.